two on two with Carol and Donovan. Carpentier joins the play. Carol sends it down low. Donovan trying to play it as the Grizzlies look to manufacture something. Donovan picks it up, tries to jam it in. Carol scores! That's how big Chris Donovan is to the Utah lineup. His second game of the playoffs, battling an upper body injury. He's back. A beautiful setup to Marcus Carroll. Hugo Carpentier, the other helper. 9.33 into the first period as the Grizzlies take a 1-0 lead. That when getting the first goal tonight, Utah draws first blood. The Grizzlies take a 1-0 lead as the fans throw their trout out on the ice here in the 2011 Kelly Cup playoffs. To feed the Grizzlies, we'll clean up the fish, come back with more. Five on five hockey, Marcus Carroll just burying it dead center as he snuck in to the near side of the net. Back after this, one minute time. On band controlled by Victoria. The Grizzlies can get Kevin D the point tonight. He's scored in three of five playoff games thus far, and in all three games he's scored in, he's had multiple point nights. Near side. Puzzolino out in front, right wing circle, save, whatever, oh, it's tapped in off of the rebound, and they score, it's a 1-1 game, as JP couldn't cover up and hold on, it squirted it out in front, the Salmon Kings have tied the contest at 1, last night they scored 424 in the second, tonight they score 350 into the middle frame, and we've got ourselves a 1-1 hockey side to sort of burn, Matt. Up ice he comes into Victoria territory. Drops it off for Donovan as Victoria picks it up as Pancho tries to go to Henniger. Right wing circle shot! Lemaru makes the save as they keep it alive out in front. It trickles in, they score as Victoria went cross ice. Lamaru now going after referee Ryan Murphy and Victoria has a 2-1 lead. Marcus Carroll protesting as well and the Santa Kings get two goals in the second time of the goal 11 31 of the second period and it's now a 2-1 game as Lamaru made a first save the puck came over to the right wing wall Victoria just sent it out in front it was tapped home and Victoria gets their first lead of the night 11 31 into the second period pain show again from Henniger and Classen. So at 3.50, they tie it. Utah gets a power play at 8.29. And at 11.31, the Salmon Kings take a 2-1 lead. As Ryan Murphy, right on top of the play, Lamaru immediately came up to protest, saying that there was a man in the crease. And Utah is going to... Spinning, holding. He'll take it behind the net. Now, pull up. He's got... Victoria is Rick Cleaver all over him as he sends it around the back wall. Schultz as Victoria applying pressure. Looks near side. It's thrown through traffic. Victoria was offside as we're going to have a whistle and a penalty on Victoria as they held the puck in, threw it through traffic. It went into the net, and we'll see if this will give Utah a break and momentum. It's going to give Utah their second straight power play situation as Victoria again throwing it through traffic, but the whistle had blown. Before they threw it in, as they barely held it in front of the blue line. Now Utah looking to come back and tie things up. Two for three on the power play in this series. Oh for one tonight. Again, the Grizzlies leading the ECHL. Now 40%. Eight for 20 on the power play. Ten. Tazzolino crosses the red line. Rolls in around the backboards. Far side. Ferguson along the wall. Tries to hold it in. Victoria tries to get it out. Juan Parnum. Brett wins the battle. Ferguson a shot. Chance looks behind it, but it was deflected and goes wide. Tazzolino whips around the back wall. Comes up on the window sill. Grizzlies. Matt Reber dumps it down low for Parnum. Back to Tazzolino on the point. Cross ice to Matt Clark. Tazzolino in the high slot. Sends it in. Wide of the mark. Reber back to hold in for the Grizzlies. Clark. Rolls it back to Matt Reber. He sends it far side. It was blocked, but Matt chases it down. Whips it down low. Ferguson. Parnum on the back door. Tazzolino a shot. It's in the score! What a 
brilliant setup by Simon Ferguson. He had Parnum on the back door. Then Tazolino just kept racing in through the slot. They found the big guy for another power play goal for the Grizzlies. Three for four here in this series. Seven for 13 in the playoffs at home. And overall, nine for 21. Tazolino from Simon Eat for four in this series on the power play. Off the draw. Carpentier sends it in. Chance works at far side. Carpentier trying to play it. Marcus Carroll trying to dig it around as well. Kaster trying to get it out there for Victorias. Carpentier plays it. Tries to go to Carroll, but the Salmon Kings again step in. Grizzly still out there. Donovan just took a high stick right in front of referee Ryan Murphy, who does nothing. Salmon Kings back the other way. Shot save. Rebounding score. It's a 3-2 game. Donovan just took a huge high stick right in front of referee Ryan Murphy. Missed the call blatantly. Victoria comes back, gets the lead back, and this is a 3-2 game. How do you miss that call? And just like that, the Salmon Kings get the lead 14-13 into this second period as they score just 27 seconds after Utah tied it up, getting the goal McLeod from Cleaver again. Penalties. Coming the way of Utah and Victoria, the first one blew the play dead, got Utah to tie it down by a count of 2-1. That one blatantly missed by Ryan Murphy. Comes back and the Salmon Kings get a goal. Mabot, McElveen, Reber, Nyron, and Schultz. Aspen across the red line, cross ice to Maxwell, a backhander and a save by Lamaru. The puck trickles in and they score. Somehow that one ended up in the back of the net. And with 8.59 left to go here in the third, another messy goal that just kind of transpired out of some greasy play has given Victoria a 4-2 lead. And now the Grizzlies have their work cut out for them even more as the Salmon Kings up by a count of 4-2. The Grizzlies haven't been able to take advantage of their chances. And tonight, Victoria, four goals post the first intermission and really all three of them or all four I should say just kind of come out of nothing out of trans